Well, a couple of months ago, we got the Sumo Springs for the RV. Yeah. And they have been working awesomely, man. Loving them. Had no problems, nothing breaking, bouncing around, coming apart. Since we, yeah, it's been awesome, man. It's been relaxing. <laughs> it has been. So we decided that, hey, we could probably make it even a little bit better. Yes. By installing the Sumo Springs on the truck. Yes. So today we're going to install the Sumo Springs on our 2016 Ram 3500 yes. single rear wheel. Yes. And so we're going to show you how to install these Sumo Springs on there. And then we're going to show you what it looks like, a comparison before and after we installed them. We're going to do that uh, on a road test. And we're going to show you the difference in the squat yeah. when we're loaded up to the RV. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it will reduce the <laughs> squat. It will reduce the pressure on those springs mm -hmm. and axles and prolong the life of all of our equipment and make for a smoother ride. That's most important to me. <laughs> smoother ride. All right, with just the factory setup and without a load on the truck, the distance between the tire and the fender wheel is nine inches. All right, now we're gonna hook up the RV to the truck. We have a 39 and a half foot fifth wheel. So we're gonna put the full weight of this fifth wheel on the back of the truck and see how much it sags with the factory setup. So we just measured after we got the full load of the fifth wheel on here and it is at six inches. So three inches was the amount of squat from the uh, factory setup. Now we're gonna install the super springs and hopefully be less squat. You're gonna wanna make sure that your vehicle is chalked in both directions before you jack it up. Make sure your vehicle doesn't shift while you're working underneath. All right, let's get started on this installation. Let me show you everything that you're gonna need. You're going to need a breaker bar with a 16 millimeter socket, a ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter wrench, number six Allen wrench, and then of course all the stuff that comes with the kit for the Sumo Springs. This is our old bump stop right here. So this is where you'll need your breaker bar and your 16 millimeter socket to remove the existing factory bump stop. All right, we're going to install the bottom portion first. And now you can see these little grooves here, how it's kind of winged out right there. So what those are going to do is those are going to sit right on your U-bolt that's on your existing springs. Before you mount this, make sure this bolt down here is nice and tight. So this we get into one side and then just seat it right into that other side right there. You got to make sure both of those winged areas are, are in there. So when you pull on it like that, it shouldn't come out. Those little winged edges should catch it from coming out from that U-bolt. Now you're going to take your U-bolt, place over the top of your Sumo spring mount, it goes right into that little groove right there. Then you're going to take your little bottom mount here. It's going to seat right up on the bottom of your U-bolt, right up against that axle right there. And then on each one of these bolt ends, you're going to put your washer first, and then your nut. This is where you'll need your 14 millimeter wrench to tighten up these bolts on the bottom of your U-bolt. All right, so this is the top portion of the sumo spring. I'm going to take this top bolt out of here because I want to remove this plate off the top. And then you got these other bolts sitting on top. So now I'm going to mount this plate up into the top where our old bump stop was mounted before. All right, on your plate, when you mount it, you want to make sure that your numbers are facing toward your tire. Your overhang here is facing toward the inside of your truck. And this is where you're going to need your number six Allen wrench. Now this bottom portion right here is going to look like it's canted toward the front of the truck. And that's right, it's supposed to look like that. It's by design. So if yours is canted and looks a little hokey, don't worry, you're doing it right. Here on the plate there's a little bolt. This little bolt's going to seat into the top of a, of a hole there, which is going to line up this bolt that goes into the top of your plate. I'll show you what I mean, if I can line it up. This is where you need your 15 millimeter socket and your wrench. So we're gonna tighten that bolt on top of that top sumo spring. That's it, you're done. Now you notice these aren't touching right now. That's because I have the truck jacked up. So when I put the truck down, you'll see exactly what it'll do. Now these won't seat in exactly 
right on each other it'll be canted a little bit but when you got this under a load it'll mush all the way down and it'll actually it'll look like one solid piece of spring once you get it under a load well now we have the sumo springs installed and before we hook up to the rv again and show you what the squat looks like after i want to see if it raised our difference at all between our tires and our fender well just by installing the sumo springs and it looks like it did it looks like it went up about an inch it was nine inches before and now it's 10 inches so pre sumo springs nine inches now 10 inches so now we're going to put the load on it and after the load it was six inches we'll see what it is after we get the load fully put on there All right, moment of truth. Eight inches. Ooh. Eight inches. Hey, that's two inches less squat than we have before, man. That is gonna prolong the life of our springs and our shocks and our axles and everything that takes the brunt of the weight back here. And also, because we were a little bit over on our pin weight when we got measured and stuff, I think this is gonna help out with that too. All right, everything's all set up now. Mm -hmm. We've done the squat test. Now it's time to get it out on the road and do the comparison between the two. Okay. See what it looks like. All righty, let's do it. Well, that was the comparison with the sumo springs installed versus uninstalled mm -hmm. without a load correct now <laughs> we didn't do it before while we were hooked up to the rv no and we can't go back and undo that now no unfortunately but we will put a camera under here we're moving in a couple of days mm -hmm. so when we move we're going to put the camera under the rv so we'll jump right to that right now and show you what it actually looks like with the sumo springs hooked up to the rv traveling down the road under a load Travel day complete. What did you think? Loved it. It was awesome. Absolutely loved we'll it. We'll overlay some of the footage here of the difference between being loaded up with the RV and with not being attached to the RV. So you can tell the difference between that. But you can't see that much of a difference. But man, you can feel you it. You can totally feel it. It's such a smoother ride. It's like riding on a cloud, man. Yeah. I mean, especially going over speed bumps to get out of the park. Hardly felt them Hardly at all. Hardly felt them. It was insane. With, uh, without them, we always felt the speed bumps. I was blown away by just the Sumo Springs under the RV. Yes. But when you put them on the truck... It's a game changer oh for Oh my us. gosh, We man. can't go back. We no. can never go back. We have I, to have them. If we ever took it all back off, I don't even know what I would do. Just, yeah. I would just be like, oh. Even just everyday driving, not just towing, has been so much better. Yeah, and I think that's because you get that um, you get the high pressures in the back of the truck, and there's nothing in the truck bed to weigh it down. Yeah. So yeah. you got that bouncing, that big gap between the old bump stop and the, and the shock. But now that gap's closed with the sumo spring. So even unloaded, it's still more bouncy yeah. than when you're loaded up. But... It's not as bouncy. Not nearly. It was a pleasure actually driving from the last RV park to here. It was even over like the the bridge seams. Yes. And even divots in the you know the road yeah. that chunks that are missing. The impact normally we feel it. We hit hard. Yeah. Sometimes butts leave seats. Mm -hmm. Not the case anymore. And nothing moved. No. In the RV. Nothing. Now nothing moved before with the sumo springs in the RV, but I mean still nothing moved. Yes. So it was, it's, I don't even know how to put into words. We didn't, we weren't showing it on film, but even for Scout, because he sits up on a, on a little footstool box and he's yeah. seat belted in, hits in the road, he, he flies a little. <laughs> with the big, yeah, yeah, and he vibrates a lot yeah. on, on seams. Was not the case. I kept looking back at him and he was perfectly smooth sailing. Yeah, it was actually, normally when I'm driving, I can I can almost feel, because I've gotten so used to it, I can almost feel when we're getting to about 65 miles an hour. Yeah. Just because of how much we start moving yeah, and yeah, shaking I mean, you know in the road and stuff. So yeah. I know that. But we got the sumo springs on there, and we're rolling down the road, and I look down, and we're doing like 
over 70 miles an hour you were like, oh, had no, no idea yeah. just because it was so smooth yeah so you have to crazy. watch your speed yeah so definitely recommend the sumo springs yes. to get them for your truck uh again this was just for our ram you'll have to go onto their website and do all the drop downs put in all your information to see exactly what make and model of sumo springs yes. that you'll need for mm -hmm. yours but definitely worth the investment oh my god yes it will save your equipment and it will save your butt yes literally <laughs> literally uh don't forget to use our promo code mm -hmm. we'll leave a link in the description to sumo springs you can save 10 percent site-wide by using the promo code wayward wags yep. and uh, stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road everything you need to know will be right down in the description also we appreciate you watching see you next time bye, bye.